make it count. I want to bring the whole shebang. That's the message Tongan musician Romney Fukufuka, aka Connects, sent to his contacts before he boarded a plane from Los Angeles to New Zealand in May 2020. What he meant by bringing the whole shebang was the 20 kilos of meth he had stashed in his luggage. There's no way he could have done it on his own though. So he recruited George Aloha Chaukalo, Daniel Ahang, and Mark Castile, who all worked as baggage handlers at Auckland International Airport. This is New Zealand's biggest airport and the only one that was open during the COVID level three lockdown. The plan was for them to help his suitcase bypass security protocols so Romney could pick it up at the carousel without being scanned. Romney is known by his stage name Connects. In his lyrics, he sings about his family, his Tongan culture, and his Christian faith. With a dedicated fan base, Romney had everything going for him. That was until he chose to get involved with the drug trade for some supposedly easy money. Just before he boarded his flight, Romney sent a picture of his suitcase to his crew in New Zealand so they would know which bag it was. George, Daniel, and Mark waited outside the airport until the flight touched down, which is when they entered the secure area to grab the bag as it came through. It was all going to plan until Romney messaged the guys to say, I'm fucked. I'm in the toilet, across from the belt. Heaps of cops. Turns out, the cops had intercepted Romney's messages and phone calls planning the trip, and they were all set up to grab him as soon as he came through immigration. They were tipped off when he booked the international flight during the New Zealand's COVID lockdown, which meant international travel was severely restricted. So it was suspicious when this guy had booked a trip to and from LA for just five days. When Romney's bag was searched, the officers found 19.4 kilograms of meth with a purity of 80%. Its street value was worth around 5 million US dollars. Romney was arrested right then and there. And as for the others, well, they tried to explain that they got their shifts mixed up and turned up for work on the wrong day, or that they were just at the airport to collect something from their lockers. But one of the men finally folded and admitted they were being paid 15,000 US dollars to watch out for a specific suitcase coming off that flight. And they knew the bag probably contained drugs. The four men involved have admitted the charges against them and are due to be sentenced in early 2023. The charges carry a maximum sentence of life imprisonment, which in New Zealand, this means serving a minimum of 10 years before being eligible for parole. Y'all know what it is. Stay the fuck out of trouble.